on me. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. This is Brooke Miller and Amy Palmer here with Provincial Realty. We are coming to you live. This is a live stream open house. This is the real deal. It's happening in real time. Uh, this is only a couple of the, these that we've done. And it's a great way for us to bring this property to you wherever you are. You could be out grocery shopping or sitting on your couch um, or at another open house. So, Amy, do you want to tell us a little bit about where we are today? Yeah, so <laughs> we are at 206 Alexander Drive in Clyde River, PEI. Mm -hmm. um, it's a bit wintry outside. But you know what? The sunshine is fabulous. The views of the river. I can't wait for the river to melt. Oh yeah. It's spring is on the way. <laughs> it's um, a gorgeous sunny day. It is. And so we are at, yeah, like I said, 206 Alexander Drive. And this is a three bedroom, mm -hmm. two and a half bath, um, 4,300 square feet. So there's not a lot of bedrooms, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of space. Um, it does include a home office. It has two living room areas. Um, yeah. Nice media room downstairs. Yeah, and the whole house has beautiful expansive windows overlooking right. the West River. So, and isn't there three car garage? Like there's two on the side and one underground? Yeah, so there yeah. is. So like Crazy. if you have your two cars and then you can have your John Deere lawn tractor That's in right. the basement and you can just drive that out. <laughs> right onto the lawn yeah so uh, we're gonna take you a walk around and we invite you to ask questions as well uh, I see a couple people popping up and uh, throughout the course we're watching on the computer screens as well as our phones here and uh, one of us will answer questions and we'll just give you some pointers you can get private uh, walkthroughs if you like um, please don't uh, hesitate to interact we're gonna be with you for an hour or so uh, we're here we're here right Amy do you want to you want to do the honors? Or can I put you on the spot? <laughs> sure. So okay. right now we're kind of hanging out in the beautiful chef's kitchen. There's a dining area. There's, I don't know, a dance floor area. Like, <laughs> there's a whole lot of space over here. Um, so the house is currently semi-furnished. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of like empty spaces. So you can totally see the dining room mm -hmm. table. We can imagine it's here. And it overlooks, like I said, the West River. So the West River is a beautiful river. It flows right out into the Charlottetown Harbor area. Um, so you can access town if you wanted to by boat. Mm -hmm. um, it's a big swimming area, so you totally could like, I, could, I see a nice like long dock going out there. You could park your sailboat out there, you know. <laughs> and the deck here, we're seeing the deck. Does this wrap all around? It doesn't wrap all the way around. It does go for most of the length of the back of the house. Um, and one of the best things about this deck is that it's actually Trex decking. Mm. So it's composite decking. It's not wood. Um, and yeah, so it's going to withstand um, all those, you know, windy days the yeah. storms blowing in off the river and stuff like that so That's fabulous um the river is tidal too so you're gonna have the ups and the downs um which is nice mm -hmm. yeah gorgeous all right so in here we have the sitting area um i love this like whole built-in fireplace it's not lit, unfortunately, the pilots aren't lit right now, so we couldn't turn them on or else we totally would have done that. Um, but yeah, so beautiful fireplace here. It has like a whole integrated system over here too that you can like, like it has some built-in cabinets and stuff. Oh, I gotta come around and see that. Yeah. I say that and then they're like stuck. <laughs> so like the house is fully wired too mm -hmm. for like, like speakers. Um, so they have like the whole system is here built into the side of this. That's kind of brilliant. I've noticed that throughout the whole house, there's all kinds of really well-designed nooks and crannies for storage so that you can keep your space, uh, neatly tidy, tidy and well set. Yeah. So again, we have huge windows and we have the shades. We left this one down so that you could see that like all the windows have these built-in blinds mm -hmm. um, so that you have the privacy, um, which that's a huge thing too, right? Absolutely. Or, you know, not privacy because we are out kind of in the country here, but just, you know, if you wanted to block the sun. Nice. 
And I love the detail in the arch doorways as well. You've got that inset, like almost inset yeah. framework. So it is all custom millwork. Mm -hmm. um, all of the baseboard trims, all of these casings, they are solid wood. Um, and the trim baseboard pieces, I believe there are at least three pieces that had to be built mm. to be put together to do it. So the whole house is like that. Um, and I like that it has the nice high trim here too. So it's not just your standard. Like this is at least like 10 inches, I would say. Yeah. Eight to 10 inches. It's really handsome. Yeah. And then the hallways also are like extra wide, mm -hmm. right? Like I can't even touch both sides. <laughs> So that's the wingspan. Really nice. Yeah. Um, so we're at the front door here. So when you come in, you have the lovely sitting room in front of you. And a great feature about this is that the primary suite is on the main level here. And then the other two rooms are downstairs. So they are separated. Um, but that, and when I say downstairs, it's complete walkout. So you're not actually like underground at all. It is a full walkout, mm -hmm. so yeah. Lovely. All right, so in here we have the primary suite. And we do have this beautiful soaker tub. All of the front windows have the shutters as well so that you can open and close them so you do get the privacy from the road. Not that you, like, the road outside, it's not, there's one person across the street, but there's nobody on, like down, down further down the road. So mm. it's not like you have traffic. But yeah, so we do have a his and hers or his and his, or, you know, hers and hers. Or, or they and they. <laughs> they, they. We got two <laughs> sinks separate, um, lots of space. Yeah, I love all the storage. Yeah. It's really clean too with the black and white. You've got the floor to ceiling storage, even nice light above. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hello in the window and the mirror. And then back here, we do also have a walk in shower. I keep the light off because the fan goes on. Mm. Bonus. Um, and it does have a rain shower head there, which is lovely. Mm. All right, and then as you move through, you have two different walk-in closets. They're, I believe, the same size, pretty much. This one, I would say, has some accessories for like ties or something, mm -hmm. scarves, you know. And then this one has some shelving in it that's different, but it does have the built-in like dressers at the back there. Mm. Um, it's a nice touch. Yeah. Lots of storage. You can come in and turn around. There we go. <laughs> Have a little dance party. That's right. So this is the primary. Yeah. So very big space. And then it does have a full built-in along the wall there. Mm. Um... And then it has the walkout to the deck as well. <laughs> Don't know what happened there. So you can go right outside. This is lovely. You can drink, take your coffee out there in the morning. Drink it off the off the balcony. Mm. Enjoy the quiet and the silence. Unless you're like me and your kids are already awake and running around the house. <laughs> you just send them out here. Go jump in the river. So there's all this yard. It's on 1.6, uh, I believe, acres. We'll check that. Yeah. Provincial Realties watching. Welcome, Barbara, Hamid. If anyone has any questions, please don't hesitate. We're going to take you through the house and then we'll sit down and go through some comments 
and we can always revisit any rooms that you wish or any details. Yeah. So if you want to come this way, we're going to kind of circle around. So again, we're back at the front door. And then right here you do have your um, half bath on the main level. All right. All right, awesome. And then, so from there, you have another entry into the kitchen dining area. All right. And then directly across from that is the butler's pantry. Mm. So in the butler's pantry, you have a secondary fridge and a stand-up deep freeze in here. It has a full integrated wine rack above, which is nice. Mm. Gotta have storage. And then there's just lots of extra cupboard space here for any of the stuff that you need to store. We do have like a second countertop here. Okay. Should we go kitchen? Let's go kitchen. Let's go kitchen. All right. So this is like my dream kitchen, if I would say. Like, so we have the Wolf integrated microwave and um, convection oven and everything here, plus a warming drawer. And then you have the fridge, which has the cladding on it to make it look like it's um, designed for the kitchen, which it really is. Um, so then in the kitchen, you have a lot of great features. You have the professional Viking um, propane stove, which propane now, especially, I feel like there's a lot of people in PEI after um, Fiona hit that if they had a propane stove, they were so happy because it meant that they could still um, cook. So when you're outside of town a bit, you definitely like to have those things that allows you to, if the power goes out, um, that allows you to keep going, right? And cooking. So a beautiful stove. And then you have the sink overlooking the river. So like doing dishes, no big deal, <laughs> right? Show that great little uh, oh. the cabinets, yeah, okay. All right, so we have some awesome cabinet features, like the lift stand. So if there's <laughs> any appliance that you like to use a lot, but you don't want to have out on the counter all the time, I would use this for my KitchenAid, of course. <laughs> um, we just put a blender on there. It has an integrated plug back there too, so you don't have to plug in and plug out all the time. We have some corner cabinets. Ooh, we have spice pullouts next to the stove. Lovely, lovely. Mm -hmm. Anything else that we wanted to show off? It's just the, I just love the space of the room. Plus you can see the sitting room and the fireplace. If you're in the kitchen and you're entertaining, you can still have conversation and you can enjoy the fire. You can enjoy the water. There's just no lack of space here. Yeah, definitely. There we go. And this peninsula, it doesn't look that wide but there is still seating on the other side. So like this is where Brooke and I kind of have our whole little setup going on right now. So excuse all the monitors <laughs> and everything. Um, but yeah, that's where we're sitting today as we're hosting this, which is great. Yeah. All right, let's head downstairs. Or, you know, we can finish up down here. <laughs> So I love how this is curved. It just, you know, rather than it being a straight line, like it just adds that little extra detail. And then you do have two huge coat closets here as you walk in, because the garage is right there. All right, so huge closets, just as you come in the garage. The lights turn on in the closet. It's the little details that really make this house. Mm this house like stand out. Like there's just so many little details. 
Um, Even the lights in the our motion sensor in the closets, correct? Yes. Yeah. So when you open the door, the lights turn on. Very nice. And then you have I don't need a uh, laundry room that rivals all laundry mm -hmm. rooms. Like, look at all the space that you could just like fold your laundry as it comes out of the dryer. <laughs> nice Maybe that would help me like actually put it away. <laughs> I don't know. Is there any secret to it? No. 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 <laughs> Yeah, endless, uh, and they've been really um, kind of congruent with all of the designs throughout the kitchen, throughout the built-in uh, cabinetry, throughout the whole house. It's got this very clean lines, right angles, black and white. It's Shaker style. Lovely. Yeah, it's yeah. beautiful. I love it. Mm -hmm. It's creamy though, it's not white, it's like yeah. creamy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then so then we have the garages right here. And, you know. It's a garage, but it, it does have like, it is extra deep. Mm -hmm. So like there is like a whole bench here um, with an integrated wash sink there. Um, even the cabinets out here are green ball cabinets. Mm -hmm. So it is extra tall as well. I would say those are 10 foot ceilings. Right. Yeah. All right, so downstairs. So this house is all set up with alarms as well. Um, so if that's something that's important to you, it's all pre-installed. So when you come down the stairs, you just see space. So here's a great media room. It does include a wet bar with a bar fridge, a whole built-in, and then a second broken fireplace. And again, like I said, it's not like you're, even though we're downstairs below, technically below the grade, it's a walkout. So the house was designed to not be a basement. Right? And it's so quiet out here. It's just incredibly quiet. You do have pocket doors mm -hmm. here so that you can close off the media room. They're huge pocket doors. That's half. <laughs> In the fireplace. And I do love the staircase, the shape of the staircase itself. Like it's, it's a nice wide staircase, but it's got that beautiful curve that's up in the hallway as well, mm -hmm. without it being a straight just the banister. Details. It's just a lovely detail. That's right. So if you're someone who gets to work from home, amazing. I have your office. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I could definitely work there, look at the river, and just maybe get some work done. Maybe. <laughs> Full system, lots of drawers, all filing. It's all set up for you to just come, set up your computer, bring a chair, and uh, get to work. Mm -hmm. in, this, in this amazing time where you can literally where so many jobs have become work from anywhere, like, why wouldn't you work from PEI? Mm -hmm. And if anyone has any questions, feel free to make comments underneath in the comment section, and we're going to go back upstairs and just engage with you a little bit. We'd love to know a little bit about what your favorite details of the house, if you want to see something for a second time, if you have any questions about uh, taxes or dimensions, we're here to uh, dig into any of that with you. Yeah, so then you have the, the two bedrooms on the back here. So this one is one, and again, it does have a full walk-on closet.
And then this bedroom actually has a connecting door to the bathroom that's on the, on the downstairs level. So it has, it's like a galley bathroom. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a galley bathroom. So like you can close this and, you know, I do love it when bathrooms come with doors. <laughs> Always a bonus. Hey. <laughs> So just another lovely bathroom. It has a walk-in shower there. Mm -hmm. And then across the hall from this one is the final bedroom. And this one's bigger. Oh, this one has a bathroom too. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Right? So three and a half bathrooms. Mm. For some reason I was thinking two and a half. I forgot about that. So each room has an ensuite. Yeah. So this one has a huge double closet there. weeks since I've been to this place. Mm. And then this one has a bathtub. Chat combo. <laughs> no lack of daylight throughout the whole house. There's not a room that doesn't have good daylight. Yeah. It's quite lovely. Considering that most of the rooms are even just like facing the West River, right? Mm -hmm. So like there's really only a couple rooms that don't face the West River. So if you're tuning in, we'd love to hear where you're from. Where are you tuning in from? Are you tuning in from the other end of the island or the other end of the country mm -hmm. or hey, the other end of the world? <laughs> Although I will say, unfortunately, if you are tuning in from the other end of the world, it might be a bit hard to buy. Unfortunately, Canada has just kind of passed a non-resident buying ban. So, but I forgot to check if Clyde River's outside of that. We can check upstairs, yeah. yeah. All right, one last section. Storage, it's boring, but it's essential. All right, so through this door, so much storage. Um, come on in. Just closet space galore. And then in here, just amazing amounts of storage, right? So, this one also has the garage door. So if you're into skidooing, or if you're into four-wheeling, or if you're into lawn tractors, or you know anything like that, if you... If you need to store a kayak or a boat. If you have kids and they have those little ride-on things that they need their own garage for, <laughs> who knows? How fun would it be to have like one of those little like, um, like Mercedes or BMW kids' cars in here <laughs> and then they have their own garage door opener. And so funny. And then there is even a second set of washer dryer and a laundry sink down here too. So yeah. The in-floor is set up for the basement as well. So there is in-floor heating throughout the entire basement. Yeah. Air exchanger. We've got central vac. Yeah. And then this walks out to the back deck. Mm. It's sunnier upstairs though. <laughs> the sun's just coming in. So this is the same deck composite as upstairs, correct, Amy? Yes, correct, it is Trex. So it's very weather resistant, especially when we get here, and like we said, this is a tidal water bed, so we are going to have salt water, salt water gusty winds, I mean, this is PEI. We all it's the this. island. That's right. <laughs> but look how the length. This is on both downstairs on the main floor. Oh, hi, Cindy McDougal. Judson just watching Brian McCaskill's and Barbara. Okay, everyone's tuning in. That's great. Please let us know where you're tuning in from. Wow. Love to say hi. And then back in. Yeah. All right, let's pop upstairs and see if there's any requests. 
We should mention too, just to reiterate, this garage is below the two car garage upstairs. So you've got the steel beaming up above us. That's what that is. So we are in the country. This is rural PEI, um, but the golf course height is just up the road. That's right. Charlottetown is 10 minutes away, um, 15 minutes. 15 to 20, mm -hmm. probably. But the great thing is, is that they've just, they finished the Cornwall bypass a couple years ago. So you don't have to go through Cornwall anymore. So if it's been a couple years since you've been to PEI, you used to have to drive through Cornwall and that was a pain. Um, but they have finished the bypass, so it's super fast. Back into our gorgeous kitchen. So at this point, we'll probably pop you into the light in front of us. Yeah. And uh, I'm doing the I always. So Lisa Cummings says, hi from Ontario. Hi, Lisa. There we go. Good. And uh, Lisa, do you have any questions about the property? If you're curious about any particular features or about this area, the community of Clyde River, I'll tell you a little bit about uh, what is surrounding us as well not just 20 minutes from town but also we've got this is a very quiet road itself um there's probably would you say a dozen homes on this particular lane yeah um there's not too many homes there's still like it hasn't fully been developed mm -hmm. so I, I don't think there's any lots left for mm -hmm. sale That's right. um but not all of them have been built on yet mm -hmm. um so this is this house is located in the dunedin estate so it is um like a little community here um, and it's yeah, it's very quiet people some folks spend the entire year here some folks use it as more of a summer home um, again it's meant to be just a quiet residential area um, for folks that like to have a little privacy yeah and what else we got the West River so like I mentioned earlier the West River is right there um, and it so the West River Bridge, if anybody's from PEI, is just right up the, the river there. And that was always a huge place, like very popular for people to go bridge jumping. They have replaced the bridge. It's not as jumpable anymore, um, but it is still there. And so this river, very popular for swimming in. Um, you would probably need to put a dock out to get out to the better part of the, um, the river. So we do have a question, the house is stunning, taxes or HOA fees? Mm -hmm. So as far as I know, there are no HOA fees, um, but we can get some more information about that for you. Um, sometimes what you might have um, is some like snow clearing fees if there's any, if they have to contract a private company, um, but that shouldn't be too bad. We'll have to find out from more about that yeah um should mention that the annual taxes for the property is 5818 according to a 2022 assessment yeah um and you know yearly that will fluctuate a little bit just based on a little bit of development that's happening around uh that will be reassessed of course upon a new owner um but that's the latest all right let's talk about some of the details of the house um, so the exterior siding is actually a Western Redwood. Um, and then it does have an asphalt sh shingle roof um, that does also have a complete water membrane over the entire roof. Um, and the insulation was R27. Um, so that's really good. Mm -hmm. um, there was no chipboard used at all in the house. It was all five eighths plywood on the roof and three quarter inch tongue and groove fur on the floor. Um, 
And they also boast the granite, granite top counters in throughout the kitchen. Yeah. Um, and they're using California wood shutters. So that, that nice, lovely, hefty, weighted wood shutter. Yeah. Um, the flooring is engineered mahogany upstairs mm -hmm. and then porcelain tiles in the bathroom and uh, Berber, Berber carpet in the guest rooms. Mm -hmm. um, does the taxes reflect that the owners are from out of province? That's a good question, Lisa. We can probably pull that up. Yeah, we can pull that up for you. So anything we can't answer for you right here this moment, Lisa, uh, following, we can follow up with you in the next coming after our live here and uh, just answer some of your questions if we don't have those answers right this moment. So stick around if we don't get all those answers for you in this time frame, then we'll definitely follow up with you. Um, and, uh, oh, and what part of Ontario are you from, Lisa? Just wanna know, just cause I've got a bunch of family in Ontario and you know, it's a great province. Um, what else do we got? Mm -hmm. I was looking for the um, information about the master bedroom suite because I know that it has some different things. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. So it has um, Spanish marble counter um, and then polished nickels, taps, and faucets. Mm -hmm. And the toilet seat has a soft close feature. <laughs> that's always nice. But that's what I was looking for. I was looking for like, I didn't want to say what kind of granite it was, um, but it's Spanish granite. Uh, Spanish marble, sorry, marble. Oh, here we are. Mm. Home not require IRA approval for out of province purchasers. No, nope, nope, that's okay. just because, um, so it does have a 60 foot green belt of shoreline that belongs to the homeowners association. Um, and this house, so in PEI, we do have something where depending on how much frontage of how many feet of waterfront you have, um, out of province owners are not allowed to purchase so much waterfront um, land. But this one has 60 feet, so you're okay. You're well within the IRAC um, restrictions. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what's the word that's I'm looking right, for? That's right. <laughs> we have just a little under 1.4 acre lot, 1.4 acre lot that is, and it is fairly well graded um, right to, and then there's a slight downslope to the water's edge. Um, so you shouldn't have issues when there's tides coming and going. Uh, the property has been well positioned to account for that natural occurrence. So again, uh, lawn maintenance won't be a huge issue. There's a bit of gradation that's happening at the side of the building um, coming up to the uh, driveways, but that's mainly the only hilled area. There's plenty of lovely landscaping throughout, perennials. I, I believe it was professionally done. So that, it was that professionally sense. Interlock outside, we've got fresh, um, that's a new asphalt driveway. Um, and it's got a circular too. It's like a half circle driveway. So you've got, uh, we'll take you outside. If we can get a little bit of uh, bandwidth outside, we'll take you outside to see the exterior. Oh, hi, Donna Wood Jameson. Hello. Thanks for joining us. Donna Wood, where are you joining us from? Please let us know. Yeah, so very well landscaped outside for those of you who like to garden. Of course, you're going to have uh, ample amounts of sunlight. There's very little um, uh, in the way of trees or uh, shading happening. There's lots of sunlight to the far end. I guess that's east of the uh, lot. Um, and again, I'll take you a little further outside. We can like look around where the lot is situated. Uh, but if there's anyone that likes to garden, you've got ample space for that, ample sunlight, um, easy lawn maintenance. And you could totally put in some veggies. You could absolutely put in veggies. Yeah. Love some perennial. tomatoes. Oh. <laughs> Make some spaghetti sauce. <laughs> 
You need to plant spaghetti trees. Um, I, can you tell that it's like spring? <laughs> and so it's like, I'm ready to like start gardening. I'm just like, I want to grow something. Uh, so I've been trying to prepare my greenhouse for the last week. It's already 26 degrees in my greenhouse at home. And it's, I know it's ample, but if I need a dose of heat, I actually just go sit in there and relax. Yeah. So oh, I'm looking I know. up the wrong numbers here. So Amy's just looking up some property info for you. If you want to just, just because we're curious about what your favorite feature in the house so far is, maybe Lisa or Donna, or we've got Cindy, Brian, Barbara, Provincial Realty, that's our brokerage, and Lisa Cummings. Would you guys let us know what your favorite spot in the house was so far? Or even like, what would you do for paint color? You know, how would you, how would you imagine setting up a room? We always are thinking about when wherever we're presenting homes or we're staging homes, we're always thinking in those terms of like, how could we put ourselves in someone's shoes? How could we, you know, step outside of our own uh, comfortable place and, and, uh, and uh, imagine this home? So uh, we'd love to hear from you. That's always fun. I don't believe that the property taxes um, from 2022, they were still living here at this time. So that would be their um, in resident, in province mm -hmm. property tax number. Yeah. Good. There are a few restrictive covenants on the property. Um, we'll make sure that if you're interested in knowing what those are, simply because of the neighborhood, um, there are a few uh, restrictions, but uh, more or less it's just, you know, it's a knowledge base for you as a resident to, uh, so everyone on, in the community is on the same page. Yes. So that is also included in the listing details on MLS or on realty.ca. Um, so we'll make sure that you can see on this video down below uh, the link for the MLS number and uh, search out further information. Yeah. Uh, zoning. Zoning is residential. We're priced at about three thirty-three per square foot for this home. Yeah, as well. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yep. Uh, real estate market on the island is healthy and thriving. Yep. Um, it's spring too, so people are kind of buzzing around a little more. Energy shifting. The way that people are active, and it's kind of why we like to do these lives, is because. People are out and about. Yeah, so PEI has had a strong market now for several years. It wasn't even just the COVID um, whole fun times <laughs> that made it even crazier. Yeah. Um, like the market in, in PEI has been strong since 2016. Mm -hmm. um, I even heard that the economy in um, PEI is one of the few economies that are is still actually consistently growing and That's has great. been growing continuously even through this previous kind of like almost slow down mm -hmm. like I don't want to say recession mm -hmm. but because that's, that's a, a bad word, that's a bad word. <laughs> we don't like to say that word we try not to swear <laughs> on uh on these it's a family show <laughs> <laughs> but you're right you're bang on yeah I've seen that especially in the last even the last seven months kind of reflects how the rest of the country is experiencing some real downshifts in uh, listings per month or even sales per month, whereas PEI has kind of broken that mold. We're in the pluses yeah. more than anything. Yeah, and even if we're not, we're obviously not seeing anything that's comparable to last year, because last year was just bananas. Um, but compared to two years ago, like it is above even like what it was in 2021. Mm -hmm. um, so 2022, we're just not going to talk about that. <laughs> um, but it, but even like what we're seeing now, it's above the, the 2021 market. So that's really nice to see. Um, yeah. Good. Was yeah. there anything you wanted to revisit? Oh, we've got Susan Maloney. Thanks, Susan. Susan, where are you joining us from? We're awfully curious. Um, again, so this, I'm just going to tell you out loud, if you're on your computer or if you have your computer in front of you and you want to just go to realtor.ca and punch in some numbers, I'm going to give you the MLS number now. So write it down or go in a little extra tab there. So we're looking at 2022-15159 and that is 206 Alexander Drive in Clyde River, PEI. Yeah. Yeah. So we're in this lovely 4,300 square foot house, um, three bedrooms, 
three and a half baths. <laughs> if you needed a fourth bedroom and you didn't need a home office, there is another room downstairs that you could easily convert back to another bedroom. Absolutely. Um, but it does have like a full built-in section of desk and filing cabinets and drawers and everything to be a home office. That's right. Which would also indicate that Wi-Fi, for those of you who work from home, uh, Wi-Fi issues aren't, it's not going to be an issue out here. Hey, we still have like three bars of LTE That's too. right. <laughs> so we're in the country, it's rural, we're on 1.4 acres overlooking a river and we still have amazing cell service. That's right. So yeah. that's also the key. Easy peasy. Yeah. What do you think? Should we revisit any of this stuff or yeah. what do you think? I don't know. Is, what, is there anything that you guys want to see? I didn't bring any food to, to actually cook with or else I could show you how the kitchen works. That's right. Do you um, want to make some spaghetti sauce? No, I'm just kidding. We didn't drew any tomatoes for this, though. No. <laughs> oh, from the Gaspé. Oh, Gaspé's even wow. better. It's beautiful. That's it's probably cold. Yeah, I know. You guys have been kind of hit hard a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you're from the Gaspé, then you should know it's still windy and cold here, too. <laughs> I know. So just to reiterate, there is in-floor heating throughout the entire lower level of the... So that only gate... I mean, it's fairly uh, efficient. There's not... You don't have... Um, your uh, baseboard heats. Uh, plus you do have the advantage of having a nice propane fireplace downstairs and upstairs. You can just see right behind us. This is the main sitting area just across from the kitchen. So you can entertain. And as, as you know, Islanders tend to gravitate towards kitchens. This is We're known for tradition. Our That's right. Our kitchen parties are what make us and sometimes break us. But, uh, <laughs> But more than not, it's a, it's a beautiful setup here. I think the way that they've actually architecturally set up the house is really smart. It flows well, tons of space. You can hear an echo, of course. Yeah. Um, but there's also just a no lack of sunlight throughout the entire home. So this is it's a beautifully designed home. There will probably need a few upgrades here and there. Um, as a 16-year-old home, it's very on par, modern-wise, but it's I mean... It's very well-maintained. Yep. I will show you guys this. So the upstairs is heated through forced air, um, and all of the forced air caps here, they are all custom and they are all wooden, so that they blend right in with the floors. That's so that quite nice. It's not a big, it's not a big eyesore, because those things can be kind of ugly. Yeah, and it's just a nice detail. Yeah. We should point out, too, that there are a couple of uh, sunspots on the floors, um, so there might just be a little bit of discoloring that's happened on the floor, but that's nothing that a nice That just shows you how much sun exactly. actually comes in these windows. Exactly. So you can see the line there. This is where they had a large carpet and that's where the sun would have been pouring in. It's just a minor, minor thing really in the grand scheme of things. Throw a big rug down. Yeah, <laughs> throw a rug down. That's right. I want to sit in here. This is a great spot. So I should point out too that we gravitate towards blue quite a bit as provincial realty uh, realtors. Our um, our color is blue and white. Um, so we walked in here and we were delighted that the blue chairs were still here. Yeah, we should see if we can get these chairs after. I know we should probably get these for the office. Yeah. Do you think Stan would mind? Stan Davis, do you mind? <laughs> So this listing is um, listed by Stan Davis of Provincial Realty. So, uh, and Amy and I are also welcome, or welcome you to ask us any questions. We could uh, also create a private FaceTime showing uh, anytime we are available for that. We do have the technology to do that once again. It did take us a while to set this up, but... <laughs> I think we got it. We did get it. We, we did it. figure it out. Turns That's out right. we do know how to work Facebook. <laughs> That's right. That's right. All right. I just want to highlight the built-ins here again. Yeah. Hey, Lisa Cummins, you're very welcome. We will touch base with you again with the, some of that information that you've asked about. Should we go outside? Yeah, let's go outside. Let's go outside. So again, here's an example of the landscaping they've done. It's a, you can see that properly. They've done a really nice job of this tiered landscaping 
there. So you can just imagine there's a lot of color, there's some greenery. But it's quiet as a mouse out here, isn't it? There's a mussel shell that was probably dropped by a bird. By a bird. <laughs> I could just picture, you know, dropping a kayak in there. Stand up paddleboard. Yeah. Oh, just go up and down Gorgeous. the river. Beautiful. Again, lots of level landscaping to work with. Summer nights out here would be beautiful. So this is facing west. I am so bad at east and west. <laughs> um, I think this is east and this is west. Right, so we've got north and south. East, west. So this is south, here, off the deck, I think. I think. Don't quote me on that, because I am actually, like, you can ask my husband. I can't even do lefts and rights. <laughs> lefts and rights. Let, let alone east and west. Like, I know how it all goes around, north, south, east, west, but. Love it. I have the compass of a broken sundial. <laughs> quite a few peaks. The The roof is architecturally fairly beautiful to look at from outside as well. We'll take you out the front and you can see the front entrance of the house. But the lighting is quite nice. They've done such a lovely job of featuring under the soffits here. They've got soffits rather lighting throughout, giving a nice evening glow. Ooh, come look at this. Brooke, do you know oh, what this is? Oh, this is a propane hookup for yeah, a little fireplace. Is. That's right. Who doesn't love a propane yeah, hookup? When you have right. propane in the house, of course you should have a propane hookup. Little back. fireplace, couple of Anirondack chairs, or a nice a coat sofa and curl up. Could you imagine how much fun Salsa would have in that backyard, <laughs> like running and playing? I have a dog that just runs bananas, and anyway, he would love this, yeah. especially jumping in the water. That's one of our favorite activities. <laughs> Can't get him out of the water once he's in it. Let's go out the front door and just have a quick scan of the neighborhood. I'm going to throw my shoes on. Do it. So we still have some snow here. It's quickly melting, though. It really is. Would love it for it to be gone, gone, gone. All right. Got your boots on? Yeah. Do you want to take this guy? Yeah, That's I'll take great. this out. All right. She's got her house shoes on. <laughs> All right. So this is out front. And as you can see, like, there's just some very lovely properties around. Oh, look, there's a little over across the road. Um... house. Let's just go up this way. So you do have the buried power lines throughout the whole um, development. So that's very nice, but you do have the street lights there. And then this is the front of the house. And like I said, the road just kind of ends there. So I imagine that there is probably one more lot here next to it. But again, nobody's developed on it yet. Oh, that wind's getting chilly. All right. So there we go.
have any other questions? Is there anything else that you'd like to see? Um, while we're here, we have about 10 more minutes. Um, whew, it's cold. All right, I'm gonna give you the phone. There we go. So let's see. Susan Maloney, if you've got any questions, we'd love to hear from you. If not, and uh, you think of something later, you can always reach out to myself or Amy. We'll put, uh, make sure that you have our contact information. And uh, like I say, this will be on um, this page as well. So you can always refer back to this tour, this open house, if there's anything further you wanna know. You can't, it's just, you just can't lose. You can always yeah. come back. Yeah, it's true. And we're always available. Well, we're not always available, but we're always reachable. There we go. go. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I pushed a button. Hi, Donna. Thanks for joining us. Nice. Oh, we scrolled down. There That's we right. go. Okay. Well, listen, we're probably ready to tie up. Yeah. I think. We'll sit here for a couple minutes, yeah. though. That's right. Yeah. You can watch us. That's right. What else have we got going on this month? Let's see, we might, we are probably going to do several more open house, live open houses. Yeah. Uh, it's just a nice way to get houses on the internet in a different way and come right to you. And yeah. Like you say, folks like yourself, Lisa, are in Ontario and you're able to sit here for 10 minutes and hang out with us. Yeah. Um, we might even do something silly like bake cookies. Why not? Or I might do some gardening tips. I don't know. It's Gardening not, tips. Yeah. Let it be spring. <laughs> also, put the things in the ground. Don't just put them in your mechanical room and hope that they'll stay there for the whole winter alive. So Amy's guilty of uh, buying a ton of bulbs and then shoving them in the garage and letting the ground freeze. And then my husband moved them on yep, me, so, so <laughs> they were out of sight. So out of mind, obviously. Well, don't feel bad. I, uh, I have a greenhouse that is currently not being used and... I mean, I could go for a greenhouse. No, I know. We can come over and play with your, your balls. <laughs> That's right. See if they grow. <laughs> yeah. So, are you guys wanting to move to PEI? Yeah. Anybody want to move? <laughs> it's a great place to be in the summer, even if you're just here and you're considering an investment property to spend your summers on the island. I mean, being surrounded I, by water, it's it's beautiful. I think it's pretty good in the yeah. winter. Oh yeah, it's, it's a little windy, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but not that we can really compete with the Gas Bay. I'm pretty sure it's windier and colder up yes. there. Yeah. yeah, you're in the minus minus minuses. Yeah. But uh, I mean, having grown up on the island here, and same with you, like we've noticed a huge change in the winters, of course. Um, but uh, I gotta say, it's one of my favorite places to be. It's a great vibe, it's a wonderful community. The whole island, uh, islanders are very proud to be islanders. We're welcoming to other folks and... Uh, yeah, I'm not technically an islander. But you're a much. Yeah, but I'm not technically an islander. I was not <laughs> born here. <laughs> so, and as my brother likes to point out, doesn't matter that I married an islander and that two of my kids were born here and that my parents are from here and you know, that doesn't matter. Uh, I am not an islander. Wow. Yeah. Well, and then in the same token, my folks, my sister and I were born here, so technically we're islanders, but our parents, even though they moved here in the 70s and bought like 150 acres of land for $50 in the 70s, and they are from Ontario, they are not islanders. No. Nope. They still come from away. Yep. But... Yep. We moved back here, like we just moved back not too long ago and it was because we wanted to be home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's a right. great place to be. It is. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Well, uh, listen, thanks so much everyone for joining us. This content will stay online. We will also share it to our pages. And, it will uh, live forever. It will live forever on the internet. And uh, again, welcome to 206 Alexander Drive and beautiful Clyde River. Uh, on behalf of Stan Davis, a listing agent, and uh, Amy Palmer, and myself, Brooke Miller of Provincial Realty. Uh, Lisa, we'll touch base with you. If you guys have any other questions, reach out. Um, we'll make sure our contact information is available and uh, accessible and keep an eye out for us. We always love to chat. It's a good way to just meet people, communicate, 
see houses. Let us know how you heard about this too. That's right. I'd like to know which way is the best way to yeah, get, get people way. knowing about it. That's yeah. right. Yeah, um, absolutely. We love to put it out to the world and stuff. So that's right. And show your friends. Word of mouth is a really powerful tool. Yeah. And PEI is awesome. It is awesome. So come here. <laughs> Join us. Yeah. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a good Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. Saturday. It's Saturday. All day. The whole week has just flown by. <laughs> Have a great Saturday. Enjoy it. It starts again next week. That's right. Yeah. Be, be good to yourselves yeah. and each other. Yep. Awesome. Bye. Bye. Oh, somebody has to hit finish. <laughs>